Buenos dias. Good morning. It's 4:22 a.m. and let me push that back a little bit there. There we go. Hope y'all good. I'm good. Um, I got woke up by earthquake this morning at like 4 a.m. I was just laying there, and all of a sudden, it's our rocking. So, it got me up. Uh, today's my Tuesday. Yay. I was contemplating having this cup of coffee and then uh, taking a run, but I'm pretty sore, actually. Um, I don't have a whole lot to report, honestly, because um, I've been trying to not watch as much politics just because I'm kind of burnt on it, burned out on politics a little bit. Because I'm just to the point now, now where like I know like a lot of a lot of it's just like made up BS. So. I just, I'm over it pretty much, because um, I don't even know what, I don't even know what to believe anymore, like, on either side, I mean, I'm just like, whoever wins, wins, and let's just hope that the economy gets better, and the borders get shut, and things get back to normal, that's about it, really, I just want things to get back to normal, I, I want the price of everything to come back down, a at least 10%. Just bring stuff back down a little bit to where things are a little more affordable. Of course, there's always going to be inflation, but the way that it's been for the last couple of few years, it's, it's a little overkill, man. A lot overkill, actually. And they need to bring that back down and um, get them borders sealed back up so people stop breaking our laws, do shit the right way, so we don't have chaos and corruption in our and like all these people pulling off our system all our money we put into it <clears throat> going to people that aren't even citizens no it's not right and it can't go on you know but i will talk about <clears throat> one thing that kind of pissed me off you know they keep sending all this money to ukraine you know, all these places overseas for assistance and aid. But we have like a disaster here back east with the uh, hurricane. And they give these poor people that lost everything 750 bucks. That's all they get. So they're not even like, they care more about what's going on overseas than they do here in their own fucking country that they're supposed to be taken care of. That's enough to get them food for maybe a month, families, right? That's even if they can get the food and water. It's just a slap in the face, man. It's like, who voted for this crap, man? I'm pretty sure if Trump was here, these people back east would be getting more than 750 bucks. Okay? And those... People overseas wouldn't be getting squat because they got to take care of their own issues, their own problems. We keep sending Biden's administration sends billions over there. But he gives the people here back east here that lost everything and are destitute 750 bucks. That's scary, man. I know the government's not supposed to do everything, but that just seems like kind of a slap in the face, man. Especially when they're giving illegals like a thousand dollars a month, or even more, fifteen hundred dollars a month, from what I'm gathering, and free this and free that, free housing, 
and they just give the people, our citizens, 750 bucks. That's it. It pisses me off, but you know what? What can I do, man? What can I do? I, I, I don't have millions of billions of dollars to help them out I got my paycheck that I have to wait for so I can buy my stuff and that's it so I don't know I saw something funny I did see something funny about Kamala Harris and uh, I guess she ended one of her rallies early because there was such a low turnout. She got angry and left. There was a super low turnout. I'm surprised anybody would turn up for her. Anybody at all. So I guess she got lost her temper and ended her rally. You can go check it out if you want. But I thought that was fitting for, for her. Because honestly she has no business being vice president or president. If she ever, if she did become president, she has no business. We're just going to have this more of the same bullshit. Mis misappropriation of our money that they steal from us. That they triple tax us, right? Triple taxed. And then they just misappropriate it to people that don't. Deserve it. We're taxed when we make the money. We're taxed when we spend the money. And we're taxed when it's tax time. When it's time to pay our taxes at the end of the year. Triple taxed. Unless you claim it all and then they pay you a little tiny portion. But they're still taking your money. Okay, they, they'll just give you a little percentage back, but, you know, you get a little more if you have kids, but they're still making money on your money, okay, three times. And they just blow it, blow the money on stuff that doesn't benefit us at all. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Um... Yeah, my legs are pretty sore. My whole body's sore. I worked out. I went heavy yesterday at the gym. But um, usually that's how I go on my Mondays. On my Monday, I feel pretty recovered. So I'll hit it hard and then I'll just kind of hold it throughout the week. And then I'll taper off like on my last two days. Or the last day I'll go lighter. By then I'll be pretty sore. But I felt strong yesterday in the gym. People are starting to, to look at me, and that's when I know I'm starting to do good, because you'll know you'll catch more people staring at you. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying that's what happens when you start getting fit. People start looking at you more. Uh, <sighs> but I'm feeling good. I could. I have time. I could go for a run. I got two hours, but... There's nowhere near me where I could just drive that's close that I would feel good running because it's still dark out. And I can't run around here because there's too many freaking uh, creepers around here. I don't trust them. I don't need to have no issues with no creepers, especially at 4.30 in the morning. No, my luck, I'll get out there. Start jogging, I'll have to take a dump because I just drank my coffee. And, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't know. I'll go tomorrow. Wait, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow, today is Saturday. Wait, today's Sunday or Saturday? Oh, it's Sunday. Okay, yeah, I'll go tomorrow. Uh, that'll be my, um, sorry, that'll be my midday jog. So that means I'll have to get up early. But um, I'm feeling okay. I'm definitely kind of burnt with my uh, 
my job. And uh, I feel like I want to do something else, but it's just, I can't figure it out yet. I just can't figure it out. So just going to keep chugging along, I guess. And uh, hopefully something good comes my way. Or I don't know, I might have to get aggressive and look, but I'm going to get wait until next year before I start feeling like I'm going to get aggressive with anything. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. It's almost there. I mean, sure, we're in October. A couple more months will be next year. So I'll be 54 here in November. Next month. Ah, that went down nice. But I really don't have a lot to report. I'm just kind of rambling right now. Uh, we did have the earthquake this morning. Um, other than that, there's not much going on. Just some little BS I see about politics on TV or the internet. It's just all BS. I'm still voting for Trump. No doubt about it. So, anyways, you all have a great day, a great Sunday. Hope it's, uh, you know, your church goers have a good uh, service. And, um, you know, you are blessed. If you have hope, you are blessed. Because um, people that have hope, they have hope. And that can really um, help people along, you know. I wish I had that kind of hope. Maybe someday I will. But, uh, you know, I'm just standing on my own right now. Uh, I do believe in a God. It's just non-religious, you know. But uh, you religious folk, you have a good service today. If that's if that's if Sunday is your day, if not, your other uh, religions, you have a good service, whatever day that is. <laughs> So anyways, we'll catch you all later. See ya.